Sweet School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Mostly dry summer across a good portion of Western Canada. Anne Kirk is the Provincial Cereal Specialist with Manitoba Agriculture. And for this episode of the Wheat School, with wheat progressing rapidly in these conditions, we talk about what it means for timing your fungicide application. Uh, well, for fungicide, if we're talking about fusarium fungicides, uh, we really want to be getting the wheat when it's at the early flowering stage. Uh, so in these hot, dry years where the wheat is progressing quickly, it's important to keep in mind that uh, flowering can start pretty quick after head emergence. So typically we'd expect flowering to start three days after head emergence and flowering to last three to five days. But in a hot, dry year, uh, it could speed through those growth stages a little bit quicker and the sh flowering period could be shortened. So along with the dry conditions, we also have quite uneven growth going back to when, uh, when the crop emerged and when it germinated. How do, we, uh, how do we make that decision in terms of timing and, and getting maximum efficacy of, of fungicide? Sure, I think it's uh, really important to try to get hit the most heads at the early flowering stage. So first of all, the focus on the main stems versus looking at the tillers, because those are contributing most to yield, especially in a dry year like this, where the tillers might not be uh, growing as well as we'd like to see. Uh, and also to just really do a good job of scouting your field and just try to hit, um, put the fungicide on when the most heads are at the early flower stage. So that sounds to, sounds like a, a, me, a key message there. This crop is moving along quickly. Let's keep a close eye on it. Yes. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, you might think that flowering hasn't started yet, and then you go to the field and it might be almost done. So, uh, which another point is that to look at where uh, the anthers are emerging from the head. So the best time of day to check is in the uh, early morning because the wheat's flowering in the morning. Later in the day, you'll see the dried up anthers, but it's hard to know if those were today's anthers or two days ago. Uh, so to check early in the morning and to keep in mind that the flowers emerge from the middle of the spike first and that it, when it's emerging from the top and the bottom that would be perhaps a couple of days into flowering. Okay so that gives you an idea of where it's at in the in the flowering process? Yes. Okay cool. Any other key message then when it comes to fungicide timing? Is anybody doing two two applications this year? Uh, I haven't heard of many or any people doing two applications this year just because of the environmental conditions we've had. Uh, because it's been so dry we haven't had a lot of disease in the field. Uh, but in future years, if people are considering two applications, uh, typically we just see fungicides being applied at the fusarium timing because those fusarium fungicides are getting those leaf diseases as well. Um, and just to keep in mind that protecting the flag leaf is the most important. So when you do see the flag leaf out and you're considering spraying a fungicide, also just think about how quickly the wheat's moving through those growth stages and to see if you can wait a few days perhaps for when fusarium timing is and just hold off on that first application. Uh, so unless you do see really high levels of disease in the field pretty early on, uh, you probably wouldn't be considering two applications of fungicide. Okay. So finally then, Anne, let's say we are checking our fields and, and we notice it's flowering. We're not concerned about fusarium, but then all of a sudden there's rain in the forecast and, and maybe we are reconsidering our, our decision. Do we know w the impact of, of late fungicide application or, or going in later than, uh, than recommended, what, uh, what that means for the crop? Uh, so... The recommendation right now is to apply fungicides at the early flowering time. That being said, it is really tough to make that decision sometimes. Uh, if it is dry at that time, yeah, what do you do if you're expecting rain later? Uh, so the crop is most susceptible during the flowering period. So once flowering is completed, we, there's less of a benefit of uh, applying those fungicides. Uh, but the real effect of you know, applying fungicides, say, four days late or even eight days after the start of flowering, we're not quite sure. So uh, Manitoba Agriculture with the Manitoba Wheat and Barley Growers Association is doing some on-farm trials, looking at the effects of early applied fungicide waiting and then comparing that to waiting four days later. So uh, we should have some results from those studies to know, you know if there is a benefit in, in doing that later fungicide application if the conditions don't call for it at the early time. All right. Thanks for your time and your, your insight, Anne. Thank you.